Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're going to be talking about 45, 45, 90 special right triangles. Isosceles right triangles are special right triangles because of their congruent sides. The two congruent sides give us two congruent angles, and so those two angles must be 45 degrees each. So we often call these 45, 45, 90 triangles because those are the three angles inside the triangle. So their sides also have a special relationship based on the Pythagorean theorem. They will always have the relationship as your two legs, so in this case x and x, and then your hypotenuse will be x root 2. So often you will hear x, x, x root 2 when referring to 45, 45, 90 triangles. You can also think of it in words as hypotenuse equals leg square roots of 2. Let's look at these two examples. So in our first example, we see that we have a right triangle with two congruent sides. So right away, I'm going to mark those congruent, and that means that both of our angles have a 45 degree measure. So in this case, we know we can use our pattern x, x, x root 2. So this is x, x, and then our hypotenuse is x square roots of 2. Or we can use the word form hypotenuse equals leg root 2. So now all I have to do is plug into my formula. So we know that the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle, and so in that case it's y, so I plugged in y. And then my leg is 8, so 8 square roots of 2. So my final answer is that y equals 8 root 2. Now let's look at the next one. So again, we see that we have two congruent sides, so I'm going to mark them congruent. And if we have two congruent sides and a right angle, that makes this a 45, 45, 90. So we know we can use our formula, x, x, x root 2. And so hypotenuse equals leg root 2. I just need to plug in the pieces from my My hypotenuse is m, and my leg is 3 root 2. So m equals 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. Now we know if we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, that square root part cancels out, and we just have 3 times 2, which gives us our final answer of m equals 6. Now pause the video and try this first example on your own. So hopefully you noticed that we have two congruent side lengths, so I'm going to mark them congruent. And if we have two congruent sides and a right angle, that makes this a 45, 45, 90. And so we can use our pattern x, x, x square roots of 2, or our phrase hypotenuse equals leg root 2. So my hypotenuse is 5 root 2 equals leg root 2. So my legs are x, so that's x root 2. I need to solve for x, so I have to divide by the square root of 2. So when I divide both sides by the square root of 2, my square roots cancel out on both sides of my equation. So I'm left with x is equal to 5. And on our last one, again, we see that all of our sides are congruent to each other, and we have a right angle, so that makes this a 45, 45, 90. Also, you might notice that this is a square. It's always important to know that if you cut a square in half, you get two 45, 45, 90 triangles. So we're going to go ahead and use our pattern again, x, x, x root 2, or hypotenuse equals leg root 2. So when I plug in, 8 equals x root 2. So we have to divide both sides by the square root of 2 to get x by itself. And then we're left with the answer x equals 8 over the square root of 2. Now it's very important in math to know that you should not leave a radical in your denominator, so on the bottom of a fraction. So to get rid of this, we want to still multiply our fraction by 1, but multiply it by something that will rationalize our denominator or make our denominator an integer or a whole number. So if we multiply our fraction by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2, then on the bottom, the square roots will cancel out and we'll have 2. And so we're left with 8 square roots of 2 over 2, which will then simplify to 4 square roots of 2. And that's everything I have for you this evening. See you in class.